What is up, you lovely lot? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're on the 50p coin hunt. We've got ourselves 250 quid to have a look through. Sealed bags from the cash centre. So let's open it up and see what our luck is going to bring us today. We're looking for two still to complete the collection. Let's have a quick look in the book. It has been a while since we've done a 50p hunt, so refresh our memory. But of course, it's the 2009 Kew Gardens, one of them. Very rare, very scarce, very valuable, £150 or so to buy one if you wanted to buy one. And then other than that, the other one we need is the Paralympic Wheelchair Rugby. Uh, 29 in that Olympic set, that's the only one we need now. All the rest we've got, apart from actually, we still do need, uh, we don't have a spot for it yet, but it'll go after diversity there, the uh, Platinum Jubilee 50p. So you never know, we'll find that today. Potentially. No date on this bag, so I'm not sure when it was bagged up. I did get two bags of 50p's, but again, hit by the uh, curse of the 2019 shields on the other bag, unfortunately. <laughs> right, let's get into this. As I say, it's been a while since we've done a 50p hunt, so it's going to be a little bit rusty, probably. Hopefully, we can get some decent luck, though. Bag number one is not looking hot. Though that happens now and again, doesn't necessarily mean anything. Hopefully not anyway. <laughs> I hope you're all keeping well out there. I am pretty good myself. We do have some questions to get into from previous videos and all of today's Questions are from this video up here. Oh, there we go. There's a pretty decent find. It's a keeper, the Battle of Hastings 2016, 950 year anniversary. Not worth a mega amount, just over face value, but we'll pop it down there. It's a nice one to kick off with, at least it's something anyway. <laughs> Let's get into our first question. We have one from Kevin Barrett. Kevin is asking, how long have you been coin hunting? And how many 50Ps do you get a week? Good vid. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, the channel now is two years and five months or so old. October 2019, started doing the coin videos on the channel have some old gaming stuff on there before but that's all gone now <laughs> there's the tale of peter rabbit from 2017 really common that one 19.9 million and when i say old gaming videos i mean over 10 years old <laughs> so yeah those are long gone uh, but in regard to when i actually started hunting maybe a year or so before that and I did used to get big bags of 50p's and two pounds before I started the channel, I hunt through them. Of course, I used to watch the other guys doing it on YouTube. There's Paddington at St. Paul's Cathedral, 2019, very common that one. Both the 2019 Paddington's, pretty common. 2018 one's a bit more desirable in my opinion. Roughly half the mintage or a bit more than half the mintage. And how many 50p's do I get a week? It really varies, Kevin. I um, don't think I've ever done more than sort of maybe 750 quid. Oh, there's 2016. Could be a duck. That'd be great if it was a duck. Squirrel nutkin. Still a keeper. And he's not in too bad of a condition. Of course, Jemima puddle duck. Much more scarce and much more valuable, around nine or 10 pounds for Jemima puddle duck. Yeah, on average, I'd say I usually do 500 pounds and 50 p's a week, but it's been over over a month since we've done a 50 p coin hunt. Long overdue getting back to the action. We're there now. Had a few things going on, and oh, nice! 1998 turned it over, and it's an EU Stars. Pretty nice condition as well. 
that's a great find. Both the 1998 commemoratives, excellent finds. Of course, you've got this one and the NHS as well. Lovely stuff. Pop that down there as well. We're doing okay. Um, but yeah, and then in regards to the channel, I was doing a few other bits about top 10s. We've done the top 10 50p's, two pounds and 10 p's. Updates on all of those. So if you missed those videos, do go and check them out. Twenty eighteen representation of the People Act. Unfortunately, not a Paddington, or even better would be a Beatrix Potter, of course. Pretty common that nine million minted. Really common. That was a grim one, wasn't it? There's a twenty twenty. It's a Brexit. Peace, prosperity, and friendship with all nations. Pretty common those as well. Brexit and diversity from that year. Both ended up being more common than we thought, I think, initially. Bit of damage on that one, definitely damage. We will check back through all of these coins as we always do after I've recorded the video. You never know what you might have missed. And of course, we keep an eye out for those NIFC shield designs and the low mintage 2017. But more so <laughs> the NIFCs, of course, 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18. This isn't the shield, it's a commemorative. Hopefully it's a Potter, that'd be great. Another people act, unfortunately. On the top row, you go. And snacks, having a little mini snore. Don't know if you guys heard that. All right, questions, questions. We have one from 10Bob. 10Bob has got a coin collecting channel, so check her out if you don't know about her. She's asking, are the blanks made at the mint? Um, and this is in regard to us finding some of those. Oh, nice. Paddington at the Palace. 2018 Paddington's, like I said, a little bit more desirable than those 2019 ones for sure. And we keep them above face value. Nice. Nice mix. The Olympic would be great. Um, but yeah, this is in regard to those tinny sounding 50p's that we were coming across in the odd hunt. And Ken Bob is asking if the coins, without the designs on, just the, the blank coin, is made at the Royal Mint. And they are indeed, yeah. Use a blank impress to make those. You do get to see that if you go on the tour around the Royal Mint experience. Unfortunately, that's not part of uh, the section that you can film in, unfortunately. There's a girl guiding 2010. So you won't be able to see that on any of the videos I've done where I've gone around the Royal Mint. There's the other 2020 design, Diversity Built Britain. Really mucky though, that one. But it's pretty common anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, all of the dies are made at the dies. The blanks are made at the Royal Mint. Um, and for some of the foreign coins they do, they don't actually mint the coins, they just um, send them the dies. Not the dies, why do I keep saying dies? The blanks. <laughs> Perhaps they do send dies out as well, I'm not sure. There's a 2005 Samuel Johnson's Dictionary. Really, really common that. 17 million odd minted. And another Brexit. Yeah, a lot of people are reporting finding a lot of those tinny sounding ones. There's another Brexit. Um, as I was just saying, I haven't been hunting that much recently, so I don't know if I've been missing them, but of the, all the 2019 shields I've seen, I've only found two that sound a bit funny to my ear. And I think it stands out a mile off. Or is it another 
half decent keeper. Benjamin Britton, don't see too many, many of these at all. From 2013, that very unique obverse, which just looks like there's so much more writing all bunched up there. There we go, another keeper. Five on the keeper section already. And we've got a fair few bags still to go. A bit out of practice, so might be a bit slower than usual. <laughs> Right, back to the questions. We have one from South Yorkshire Coins. Again, another coin content creator or a coin tuber. Go and check him out as well. Um, they say, great video as usual, laughter. My question is, in your opinion, why are the commemorative 50Ps being circulated less than in previous years? There's Victoria Cross with the heroic acts. And we've got another one coming up here as well, another commemorative. Probably be another people act, judging by our luck so far. Then again, we did find the 2018 Paddy at the Palace. Another people act. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it, should I? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure on the answer to that question. Why? I mean, the obvious answer would be that less coins are needed, but then they're still minting plenty of shields. So it is a bit of a funny one. Um, and who really knows? Not me. <laughs> I wish I did. But I would love to see all of these commemoratives that they're making and bringing out in packs in circulation. Would be nice, wouldn't it, to have more stuff to find? There's another Johnson's Dictionary. Of course, the most recent addition to circulation being the Jubilee. 50p. Some speculation about what the mintage figure is going to be on that one. Um, whether we'll just see the initial figure or more released later. Because at the minute, oh nice, at the minute they seem quite scarce. That's a great find, Olympic Athletics. Of course this, the design uh, which won the two, the, the competition in uh, 2009 run by Blue Peter to design one of the coins and there was one released with a 2009 date on the other side in a pack as well you never know could it be no nah, 2011 of course the circulated version but still a great find nice to find an Olympic unfortunately not wheelchair rugby <laughs> the one we're missing we keep on going always happy to find an Olympic 2017, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Another pretty common one. All of the 2017 Beatrix Potters. Pretty common. I say pretty common. Two of them are the two most common. Of course, Benjamin Bunny and the tale of Peter Rabbit. No Benjamin Bunny yet today for us. Keep on going. He might be in there somewhere. All right, we've got one more question from Stuart Brown. And Stuart is asking, hi there, which is the 50p you have most of in your collection? Oh, that is a question. I'm not too sure. Maybe 2017 Shields? I stopped keeping, all right, Snacks. I stopped keeping the uh, 2008 Britannia's a while back, but do still keep the 2017 shields and they're quite a semi-regular occurrence. On that note, we did find one in the last hunt. I forgot about that. I was meant to mention that at the start. 2017 shield, low mintage. Um, other than that, maybe Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Or, um, I mean, there's some good candidates on the table. Maybe Battle of Hastings, some of these low tier keepers that we do fit, find quite often. Yeah, probably one of those that I just mentioned. Would be nice to say Q Gardens, but unfortunately not. Here's a 2016. Bit grubby, but could it be a duck? No, ah, there she is, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. <laughs> not strictly a keeper, not really above face value, but I like to keep her. I can't leave her out of the 2016 set. I keep all the others. There's a nice, shiny Roger Bannister. 
should be from 2004, but was part of the uh, 50 years of the 50 piece set, wasn't it? That one is the original one. And again, that's another fairly common one. So up the top it goes. Right, a few more bags to go. And make sure to leave us some comments down below. Either asking questions for a future coin hunt. Well, the other thing I really want to know is what sort of videos do you guys want to see? Is there anything you want to see in particular that you're not seeing? Sherlock Holmes from 2019. Pretty common. We found a nice mix today. So yeah, is there a particular denomination? Oh, still three more bags. There was one hiding. Denomination of coin that you want to know about? Pre-decimal, current? Or a particular territory or country you want to see coins from? I do plan to do another video showing my territories. I did do that series quite a while back now. There's another 2017. Taylor Peter Rabbit. No Benjamin Bunnies today. Very unusual to find all of these different coins and not one of the most common of all. Benjamin Bunny. Tom Kitten. So now the only 2017 we don't have is Benjamin Bunny. Very unusual. Again, pretty common. And on to the last bag. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already. Press that red button, doesn't cost anything of course. And just lets YouTube know that you want to see the videos we're doing. There's another 2017. Mr. Jeremy Fisher, still no Benjamin Bunny. Of course, smash that thumbs up button, really does help the channel. We have another find. Christopher Ironside, and it's yet another one we haven't seen yet today. Lots of variety. And is that a lot? I think it is. But yeah, smash that thumbs up if you'd be so kind. Leave us a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you again soon for some more coiny goodness. Take care. All the best.